Martin Scorsese wanted to be a priest. James Bond was named after a bird watcher. Today, I share the funnest facts that I've ever heard. Ever. I love fun facts. I think everyone does, right? I don't think there's anyone out there who's like, useless information, ugh, I hate to fill my head with it. No, I think most of us enjoy it. And I'm going to share the funnest that I've ever heard. But we're going to have to do this fast. We only have five minutes. Martin Scorsese wanted to be a Catholic priest before becoming a director. May I remind you he has the most F-bombs in film history. People can change. According to the author Ian Fleming, James Bond was named after a famous bird watcher. Kind of lame, ain't it? James Cameron chose not to cast the part of the Terminator to O.J. Simpson because he thought nobody would believe such a nice guy would be a killer. Awkward. There were woolly mammoths around the same time that the ancient pyramids were being built, meaning the film 10,000 BC's scene of them helping in the construction is not completely unrealistic. Completely. A babies can hold their breasts underwater longer than adults can. Do not try this at home. Wombats poop cube-shaped turds. Although I'm sure nobody here is going to believe me, here it goes. Nobody knows how bicycles work. Hey, I was surprised by this too. Apparently it's this huge cosmic puzzle. One of the scientists even said it was more complicated than understanding dark matter and the speed of light. That's right, folks. The bicycle is the greatest mystery of mankind. Seth MacFarlane, known for the famous cartoon Family Guy, was almost one of the people that boarded the 9-11 flight. He didn't go because he slept in. Moral of the story, always sleep in, folks. Platypus, platypi, platypuses, are venomous, a power that Perry the platypus surprisingly never used in his confrontations with Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Plankton-eating holograms on the show SpongeBob SquarePants is scientifically accurate, as planktons gain energy using photosynthesis. There has never been an only child president. If all the DNA in your body was taken out and stretched, it could reach to the sun and back 61 times. Also, that'd be a horrifying way to die, and I really don't want to think about it. Recipes can't be copyrighted. Speaking of copyright, in case you didn't hear, The Great Gatsby is now in the public domain. I was even thinking of doing my own version. Gorman could be Jay Gatsby, Seth could be Nick. And on second thought, that might be boring. Maybe I'll just leave that stuff to the Muppets. A pencil-thick spider silk could stop a Boeing 747 in full flight, so the scene of Spider-Man holding back the train in New York isn't that far-fetched. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on the same day, July 4th, 1826, five hours within each other. Emma Watson is a certified yoga instructor. Speaking of artistic athletes, Edgar Allan Poe swam up the Virginia James River six miles. Make no mistake, underneath that prim black suit was a buff dude. This one is a bit complicated and might not even be true. But there's a good reason to believe ancient people couldn't see the collar blue. Texts like Homer's Odyssey never mention it, calling the sky and sea red instead. Nor do Hindu, Chinese, or Arabic texts. The explanation all has to do with our perception of reality. Uh, okay, maybe it's a little too complicated to get into here. Just know that the more significant a collar is to us, the more likely we'll notice it. Charles Darwin's sort of pet turtle lived to the year 2006, making her 176 years old. This bird is the superb lyre bird. It can make the sound of a chainsaw. They can do a camera and human voice too. They're like nature's cute little beatboxers. George Clooney gave $1 million to each of his friends, that's $14 million in total, if you didn't figure that out, which they would use to buy a lot of booze. That last part wasn't a joke, either. That's what a few of them did with it. The heads on Easter Island have full bodies underneath. And they are ripped what? 
Jim Caviezel was struck by lightning while filming The Passion of the Christ. He also had his shoulder dislocated and experienced heart problems. You know, this is when God is trying to tell you something, dude. 1.3 million Earths could fit into the sun. I know you probably heard that fact before, but let me repeat. 1.3 million Earths could fit in the sun. And our sun is only a medium-sized star. Huh. We're all doomed, aren't we? So I hope that filled your head up with some information, and I know what you're thinking. What was the point in learning that? That was useless. But my question is, what's the point in learning anything? Math. We can do all that on computers and calculators. History. It's all in the past. Even literature. It's, it's just flowery words. There, there's no point in learning anything. We're all going to be swallowed up by a red giant. We're all going to die. We might as well have some fun before we do. Five billion years, the red giant is going to swallow the earth. The seconds are ticking by.